guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's having a phenomenal day today. And today I'm super excited because we're doing another Is It? Is It Really? Which I know I'm kind of like tossing like 16 billion of these, but it's the holidays and companies and brands and all that jazz keep putting out values. That's when I like doing math, so it's like a win-win situation. You guys learn if it's a good value and I get to have fun doing math. I'm a dork. Um, but yes, today I'm really excited because I've been dying to get into this set because I really miss one of the products in here because I did a return with it. I'll talk about him in a second because he definitely has a little bit of disdain. Um, well, let's get into the box. So we're talking about the Benefit Cosmetics City Lights and Party Night Set, which is so stinking cute. I love this bag so much. I'm not going to lie. I've bought many a Benefit set because I like the bag and I wanted the bag. But Benefit makes really good quality bags, so I don't really hate myself for doing that. Um, but this is a $32 set, and he has a $65 value. As that, as that really. Um, so let's get into the products and we're not gonna talk about the bag. So normally with the benefit sets, some benefit sets I'm able to value their bags because they sell an equivalent bag. Like I wish I had one next to me. I don't think I do. Um, but when they do like weird little bags, like I know I have this one. This is the benefit bag and it's like this weird shape. Um, it's a little circle, little, it's like a hat box style. But they don't sell that particular style of bag so I can't actually value how much that bag is worth because they don't sell an equivalent. But if they sold this style of bag and for like, I don't know, let's say it's like 10 bucks, it's not 10 bucks. Um, but if they sold one that's like similar and it's just like it's black and this one's pink, it's the same bag. So, but for this one they don't so we can't do that. But look how cute he is! He's like this holographic, like, purple, and I'm just like in love with the material. It's just, it's so cute. I love him so much. Um, I also love its little tassel. If you guys saw my Sephora haul, I already kind of showed him off. He is just so stinking cute. Um, but yes, again, this is the Benefit Cosmetic City Lights Party Nights bag. It's a four five piece if you want to include the bag. It's a four piece set. Um, so let's get right into what's on the inside. Oh, I love how he opens. Because I never opened him on camera. He opens like and folds out accordion style. So he actually fits quite a little bit in there. That's really cool. Um, but this is how his products come. And just this little silver wrapping paper. Tissue paper. And I'm going to end up ripping this tissue paper. It's okay. Didn't need the tissue paper anyways. So one of the products in here is full size, which I really love. I think this is a very overall, like, a look set, which I really enjoy that about it. So let me put all those items out. Um, so the first product we're going to talk about, which annoyed the daylights out of me in trying to research, because I literally had no idea what shade this was. I was like, should I buy this? I don't know what shade it is. Because nowhere on the Sephora website said the same set. Sh sh oh, oh said the shade name. It wasn't until I physically got the box in my hot little hands that I realized it says the shade name right there on the box. Um, so this is their, it's their Real Double the Lip. Is that how they call it? Yeah. Their Real Double the Lip and the shade Nude Scandal, um, which I do not own this shade, so I was really excited to see that I didn't own the shade. Um, so he is a .02 ounce, and he is worth $8. They do sell minis, which I did not realize they sold minis, but I did discover they do. Um, and they sell their minis for $10. They don't sell all the shades of minis, but they do sell several of the shades. So that is him. And I'll swatch him for you. I just bopped my nose with lipstick. That's fun. Um, so they're, the reason they call them the double lip liner is because they actually have two different colors. Let's see if that comes up on camera. So they've got a darker shade on the top and then a lighter shade on the bottom. So it gives you like that lip line. So it gives you like a fuller lip look. I have not been very successful with using these just because of the way when I apply lipstick, because I go like this but then I like go and I reshape around like this with the edge. So these don't work too well with me because I end up like, it just becomes one conjoint lip color, which isn't a bad thing. Um, you can kind of see the two different shades on there. How that little edge is a little bit darker than the rest. He's really pretty. I like this shade. It's definitely like a color I would actually like wear on the regular. So he's really nice. Again, he is worth $8. 
Um, the next item in here, I could really have honestly cared less about. I think I saw them in my mascara jar over here um, that has a lot of my deluxe size samples of mascara. But they have a deluxe size of the Their Real, or Fun Size, or Mini Size, whatever you want to call these things, um, of Their Real Mascara. He's 8.1 ounce, and he is worth $8 as well. It's not my favorite. I prefer Roller Lash over to Their Real. They're both great mascaras. I don't know. When I think of Benefit, I never think of mascara. Uh, I'm going to save the last item, the one I'm most excited about for the very end. So the next product that is featured in here is the one full-size product inside of this set, which I am very familiar with. I actually already own one, so now I own two of this full-size. Um, but it is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Um, he is a point. 002 ounce. It always surprises me how tiny this thing is. Um, and he is worth $24. So that is what he looks like. I love him because he has a spoolie end on one end. So he's great to really like comb out your brows. Um, and then his other end, his actual product end, it's a really nice. He twists up. It's a nice pointed tip. I'll actually roll up more of the product so you guys can see it better. See? Um, it's a really nice sharp tip, so it's great to get a really nice, precise brow, so you can really draw them out and make them as nice, big, and precise, and fluffy as you want. Um, so I really like him. Let me actually swatch him. So this one is in shade 3, which is their most, like, used shade. It's their most popular shade. I love it. I love it because it matches so many people. I am doing it pretty thick, so you guys can actually see the color. So that's what the shade looks like, and then I'll let you draw a single solitary line so you can see how thin it is. So that's how thin he is. Look how pretty that is. But I love how much you can build on him, so you can make him darker, you can make him lighter, depending on how heavy you are with your hand. So, again, he's full size, he's worth $24, and I think he's a great deal, because if you just want, like, one of these other products in here, plus him, he makes the $32, like, 8 plus 24 30, 32, 34, 32, 32. So yeah, I think it's a pretty good deal because he has him in here. But again, he is in shade three. And the last product in here, I have missed him so much because we got him full size and then I did a little bit of research on him and I realized how much of a bad deal this guy is. But considering now he's in a value set, I can justify having him, especially since now he's a mini. So I got, well, I got because it came in the kit. It has the Benefit Cosmetics Dandelion Twinkle. And if you're not familiar with my disdain for this highlighter, it is not because I don't like the highlighter. It's not because I don't think it's a great product. It's his price. So this little guy, his full-size sister is $29. He's only a .1 ounce. He's very, very tiny. And to put it in perspective for you, if you're familiar with Sephora at all, um, which, by the way, this set is a Sephora exclusive set. I do not believe he is coming to Ulta. Um... At least I got mine at Sephora. I don't think it's coming at Ulta. But yes, back to Dandelion Twinkle. He is the second most expensive highlighter from the time that I researched him. I'll try to link the video of Dandelion Twinkle up in the cards so you guys can see that. Um, but he's the second most expensive highlighter in Sephora. He beats Becca. He beats Dior. Um, the only thing he came short of was Kevin Aquan um, when I was researching him. Yeah, Kevin Aquan, because I don't think it was Tom Ford. I think it was Kevin Aquan, which is kind of disgusting considering benefits not in the like prestige, prestige category, but just shows when you're buying your products, you always want to kind of look more in depth into them instead of just looking at the face value of their price, like how much you're actually getting for it. I always use Pia Thomas Roth as an example because they have really large, they're five ounce face masks, so the fact that they're like $58, you're getting ton of product rather than going and getting like a Sephora face mask for six bucks and you get one use out of. So keep that in mind when you're shopping. Uh, but yes, Benefit Cosmetics Dandelion Twinkle. I am very excited to have him back because I loved him. He's got a little mirror. He's got a little brush. Um, oh, I missed you. 
Um, but literally, I only had him for maybe a week. I used him. I thought he was very, very pretty. I loved his consistency. I loved his look. He feels so silky. Um, the only thing that really drove me nuts was his price. I swear I remember him being more pink. Oh, he's so pretty, though. Look at that shade. Look at that popping highlighter. He's not too intense, though. He's very pretty. I love him, but he's very silky feeling to the touch. Um, so yes, I'm very, very excited to have him back in my life. But he is a .05 ounce, and he is worth $14.50. They do not sell a mini size of him yet. Benefit, I swear, is making every single one of their products into a mini, because people like minis, even though they're not always the best value. Uh, but yes, that is it for the set. So just to recap on him so you can see what his actual value is. He was a $32 set. They gave him a $65 value. Is he really? No, his actual retail value is $54.50. So he's still pretty good savings. He's a 41% savings, but that is a difference in what they said the value of, of $10.50. So always check your maths with these value sets because they're sometimes not accurate at all. Um, but yes, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to get notifications on when my videos do come out, make sure you hit the little notification bell. And if you have any suggestions for videos, any particular set you want me to do, make sure you guys leave it in the comments, tag me on social media. There's a link in the description below to all of my different forms of social media. But that is it for this video, guys. Stay boxy.